Hey guys, it's Cody with Pull Parts To Go, and what I want to talk to you all about today is just a quick overview of one way to set up the automation controller with the Black & Decker, Sonora, uh, and uh, Blue Torrent variable speed pull pumps. So we already have the automation controller on the pump and the wiring attached per the manual. You do want to make sure you follow that manual uh, for the way it's set up. As you come over here into the panel, you can see that we have our wire coming in right here, and this is what connects all the way to the pool pump. And we have a red wire, which is carrying in the voltage. It is the bottom of the terminal on the back of the pump, and that is the one that we want to connect. You can see how it connects here, and then loops over, and then loops over to connect to all three of these relays. And these relays are a common design shared by almost every automation system out there. And then what we have in here is we have the black, white and green wires, which in some of the kits are actually um, black, white, and yellow. Um, the wiring can vary just a little bit from kit to kit. But what these do is these connect to the three different terminals on the back of the pump to trigger speeds one, two, and three on the pump itself. So what we do is we set the speed for speeds one, two, and three on the uh, program settings of the pump. Um, we have another video that goes into the details on that. And then if we activate the speed one relay through the automation panel, it will send the signal from the red to the black wire, which the pump will see that signal, and then it will turn on to speed one and it will run speed one until the signal is broken by the automation signal through the relay. Same thing for the white wire to, for speed two and the green wire for speed three. So these can then be set up. It's different for every automation brand. Uh, most of them you'll set them up as like aux two and aux three. You can label them low speed and medium speed or however you want to set it up. Uh, and then you can set a schedule for those auxiliary relays to then activate those speeds from your automation panel. This particular panel is a real cool guy, it is the attendant powered by Poolside Tech. This is something a little bit different, something newer on the market, and uh, if you're interested in automation system, I recommend checking it out.